Hey, how's it going traders? Welcome back to another video breaking down my favorite broker hammer. In today's video, I'm not only going to show you how to paper trade or simulate trade hammer. I'm not only going to show you my favorite and improved setup that I've used and perfected over the last two years on hammer. I'm also going to show you how to download and set it up from A to Z. So you guys are full time trading in no time. So without further ado, let's get into it. And before we get into the video, the first link in the description is actually to download the demo platform of Hammer. And then once you actually go on the Lyric Securities website and create a live account and fund it, it is the exact same uh, download you use. Uh, so you're not wasting any time by downloading the demo account. You can download the demo account first and then with one click of a button, you could be in your live account. Uh, it's, it's not two separate downloads. So highly suggest downloading the demo and setting it up first, knowing your broker and understanding every mechanic of it before you deploy live capital so you don't make any stupid mistakes and lose uneven money. The second link is a link into our Discord. Hopefully you guys are already in it. If not, just click that link below and you guys can join it. Ask me any questions you have about Hammer. Ask me for any of my setups in Hammer. I can give you guys a file to import or just watch me trade live on Hammer every single day so you guys know that's an actual legit broker. I seriously have had questions about its legitimacy and I've been using it for several years and I've had no problems getting money in and out. Now there have hundreds of my students who use it. And then the third link is to apply to our mastermind. Here, I'm actually gonna teach you one-on-one -on -one exactly how to day trade. If you guys would like to day trade like me and you like one-on-one -on -one coaching from yours truly, click the link down below and apply. I, yes, I will also sit with you guys for a full hour because I've done it before and help you set up your hammer one-on-one -on -one if you need it. But hopefully this video answers the majority of your questions so you don't have to go do that. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. First things first, if you guys want to have a demo account with live market data, you have to create a demo account first. So just go to this link. I will also link it, first link down below in the description and just type in your name. I'm gonna use uh, some personal email, bless me. Now make sure you do hammer, not hammer light. It's a big mistake. Then you're going to want to go to this email that says uh, verify email to open your demo account. Email successfully confirmed. Next, verify your phone number. And then it says within just three to five minutes, you'll find a virtual amount of $100,000 right in your account. Meanwhile, start by downloading a desktop application of your preferred camera version here. You're gonna to go to this window, download. It's gonna take just a few seconds to download. Next, install. I already have it installed, but it should be fine. Now, if you do have a McAfee software, sometimes it will actually uh, inhibit you from downloading Hammer. Just make sure that you bypass the McAfee. It's not going to give you any sort of virus or anything. I've been using this for years. Now, creating a live in a paper account is the exact same process, or at least downloading the application is the same. You're going to have to go through more steps to actually verify your identity and actually add money to a live account. However, it should be hooked up to the same email. Now, I, am, I actually have a live account under this one. Uh, so make sure you do not go to live and you click demo over here. It should say simulated trading. You do not want to go to live because you have no money in your account. If you do have money in your account, make sure you're doing live. That would suck if you had a big trade and it was a demo. Log in. Now, do not be overwhelmed. When you first log in, it will be looking very, very ugly. I'm going to teach you exactly how to create the best setup possible. Hammer likes my setup so much, they actually have it in the layout library. It's actually the number one layout. Pretty cool. So just go to the Hammer dashboard, and if you do not know where it is at any point in time, what I have to do is hover over the Hammer icon, and then go to this, click the Hammer dashboard, click Layout Library. Then you're going to want single screen layout. Again, this is my exact setup. Actually, sorry, it is a mimic in a poor man's version of my setup because they haven't updated my setup yet. I'm going to teach you exactly how to make it picture perfect. So click this so you have a general idea of what it looks like. For some reason, it went down on my other screen. Now, if it does not look like this, if the numbers are, are white and are not yellow, then you probably have my fully updated version of hammer i'm still bugging them to update it if yours looks yellow and gross like this one don't worry i'm going to help you in just no time flat so number one i'm going to move my face cam over here this is your watch list 
Now, do I use a watch list like this? Uh, it's not as important in my opinion, so you can go ahead and move that down. Now, before I do that, I just wanna let you guys know the big minimize minimizes everything. The little minimize just minimizes the certain icon that you're looking at. So just little minimize that, and then it'll go to the bottom right-hand corner and it'll look something like this. You can, it'll just be in the corner like this, minimized. So now I'm gonna go down to this ribbon. This ribbon controls everything, literally everything. You're gonna wanna go click this, go to view, color sets. Now you may have my colorways here already. If you do not have them, you can either uh, DM me for the download link on Discord, or I can just help you do it right now. Super easy. Edit color sets. First, you have to click add, name it the PC colorway, change all the text to white. Everything that's yellow changed to white. Everything. Bada bing, bada boom, apply. That's number one. So then if you go down here, click view, color sets, PC colorway, this is the new one I created. It should look white and not that ugly yellow. Do that for everything. All right, colors are down. Now let's talk about optimizing. Go to color sets, edit color sets, this. Appearance, general, you want depth performance maxed. Now you guys are going to have to model yours after mine. I am not sure if they will auto update for you. If not, or the general under charts, I like my crosshair to be freestyle. I don't like it snapping the candles. I like the X, Y values on the right. Auto backfill. I do not like, make sure you have extended hours here. Chart performance should be maxed. Then everything looks pretty good here. Display, no horizontal grid lines, no watermark. Grid line style, make, you, you're unselecting the grid lines. You don't want grid lines. And then outline candles now, I turn that off. Thick wicks on candles, yes. And then wicks, same color as candle, yes. Uh, these are two ones that I did. And then no hollow candles, I like the thick ones. Hey, security, make sure your password is on never. You can do whatever you want. But one time I had it once per session. And this basically means the second you go to trade a stock, it's gonna ask you for your password and then it'll fill you after you trade your pat. You, you type in your password. So imagine a stock squeezing, you go to buy, it's like, oh, we need your password. And you're like, oh shoot. Oh, I messed it up once because I'm under pressure. Oh shoot, messed it up twice. Oh shoot, boom, got it right the third time. Oh crap, it's already made its move. You do not want this. I put it on never. And then general, that should be roughly the same. I didn't go crazy on changing things. Mainly it's the display in general you have to worry about. Now for me, this is the six month setup, all historical charting I have on a different screen. So you can go ahead and minimize this. Right click on this, just add historical charts, view, color sets, you want the PC colorway. So now you have a daily setup as well because you, you want a daily and a four hour one. So minimize this. So now you have your historical minimized in the corner. So if you ever need it, you could just go boom, what's the daily look like? Four hour and daily look good. Boom, minimize, you're fine. Now, some more housekeeping things is you have your one minute and your five minute. When I'm streaming, it actually should be like this. Hammer needs to change that. I like my five minute on top, my one minute. And then you have your level two and your time and sales. And then you also have your P&L, which is hiding from me. If you, if you ever lose your PNL, just hover over here, boom, positions. Another thing, make sure the pins are all the same color on everything. If not, they will not auto link. So for example, if I have this chart on, on red, and I go to Tesla, notice how nothing else will change. They all need to be linked same color if you want them all to change accordingly if you want to watch two different stocks you can change the color in this one and have two different stocks here now market is closed at the time of recording this however i'm going to flash you a picture or a video of the market closed and you can see that the yellow squares are block orders this simply just means if the order is over 5,000 shares it will highlight the order as a big order you can change that right here or unselect it i really do like it now I'm going to teach you how to add a hot button so you guys can trade as fast as humanly possible. Let's do it. So you're gonna to go to the ribbon, trading, saved orders, create new saved order. I'm gonna say buy 100 shares, buy 100. Now on my buy hotkeys, I like to have green. This is where you're going to want to replicate my order. Change this to 500, demo routing, because this is a paper account, action buy limit. Uh, we want limit plus five price plus five cents 
because what you're doing here is you're putting in an order and you're adding five cents above it to guarantee the fact that you will get filled. Uh, now, if this is a live account, make sure this is a smart order, but this is a demo account. So do demo and then boom, you have yourself a saved order. Now, if I go to edit this, I can change the button text to buy 100 and create a button. And now apply, I have a hot button right here that I can just press and it will buy me 100 shares when the market is open. Let's create one more, shall we? So trading, saved orders, create new saved order, sell 100, button text, sell 100, obviously red. If you guys ever need all of my orders and don't wanna do this yourself, you can also DM me. I can send you my hot button file, you can download it and you guys can um, use it as, as you please. So then this has to be price minus 0 0.05. Apply. As you can tell, I've spent some serious time on this platform. And now you have hotkeys and you can create all the hot buttons you want. Uh, this is where you put your orders in, market limit, stop limit. And that's how you create safe orders so you can trade extremely quick. Now, a really cool thing about Hammer is they do have chart trading. For those of you guys who are coming from a futures forex background just do this trading enable chart trading and you can have all the orders right here market limit stop limit so if i wanted to create a stop loss thousand shares because i was in something click stop quantity thousand and then boom i now can create a stop loss and select it and now i have a stop loss in place just like that it is that easy and then when i want to change it oh man i'm moving my stop loss into profit boom all you have to do is super easy. And then when it comes to uh, leaving Hammer, all you have to do is go back to your dashboard right here and click exit. Another tip, if you log into Hammer and the charts aren't loading, number one, you have to give it a minute because it needs time to refresh. Number two, you can go to dashboard and then go to sources and then right click this. If it's red and say force re-login, it should refresh the page. Uh, and that is about it. Now, before you guys head off, make sure you save this layout. Go to layout library and then save layout. As you can see a lot of test ones, YouTube video, save. And now whenever you are on the go, you can just go to where you mess it up your whatever YouTube video and you should have all your hot buttons and everything right where you left them. And that's it guys. I showed you guys how to download Hammer, how to set it up, how to trade quick. If there's any other questions on utilizing Hammer, such as logging into your broker, should be pretty straightforward. Any proper settings that you need me to help you change, just comment down below and I can help you guys. Hopefully you guys didn't just get to the end of this video to realize that you already had the ideal setup already made because that would have wasted you a little bit of your guys' time. But if you guys caught it early on, like I said, that's a huge plus that Hammer updated my setup. Again, pretty cool that my setup is one of the most used setups at Hammer. I actually saw it on one of their newest commercials without any creds. And that's about it, guys. That's really just breaking the iceberg when it comes to learning your broker. There are so many more things. I could sit here for hours and teach you guys all the Hammer tips and tricks I know. However, this is just getting into the game of trading on Hammer. If you guys have any questions, like I said, leave them down below or just ask them in our Discord. Alrighty, thank you for seeing me in the video. I will catch you guys in the very next Hammer Setup video. Deuces.